Wait, what's going on guys? Ryan with Jeff here. Another commute to work. It's actually, uh, we got some flurries coming down right now. And before checking, uh, before leaving home, I checked the weather report and it said uh, partly cloudy. I'm like, all right, yeah, right. And I step outside, there's bloody snow coming on the ground. So I'm like, okay, well, well, not sticking, you know, but little flurries. I'm like, all right, well, current situation, flurries on the ground, or flurries falling down. Oh, this is just stupid. I don't know if stupid is the word for this. I'm just gonna just chill here, because sometimes these people in Brooklyn, they get a little funny. You know, they got their left turn signal on, but go right, like this guy didn't even use one. This blonde lady is like, we have money to buy cars, but we don't know how to drive them. You know, I'm probably gonna bitch and moan a little more about how people around here drive. But that's just the norm. You got some good headwind today. And when I say good, I don't mean good. I mean like a good amount. And it's making me cold. It's about 37 degrees or so right now. Maybe it is partly cloudy. When you look straight ahead, you can see the sun kind of coming up. Clouds are starting to burn off a bit. But anyway, I think I've been telling some decent stories on the channel. Let's see, pull up here. Is anyone coming? All right, we're good. Anyway, I want to talk about the time I cut a girl on the face in my class. So I was in second grade. This was probably, I don't know, like 2002. Like, yeah, it was towards the end of the school year. You know, like when you're in elementary school, like the teacher has like that, that prep period. So someone will come in, like the music teacher will come in or the art teacher will come in for a period. But that day, whoever was supposed to come in, didn't come in. So they, they were like, okay, well, you guys can play outside. And we we're like, oh man, yes, this is great. Are you Alpha Romo? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice to see you again, man. Huh? Yeah, I think it was like in the evening. Yeah, we rode home like in the same direction. And, he, and you know, it came up on Strava that we rode together. So now we follow each other on Strava. What's this guy doing, man? On the fucking wrong side of the road. All right, back to story time. So uh, the, the prep teacher never came in. Got all these dickheads on the line, but whatever. The prep teacher never came in, so they let us go outside, and we're all running around. Now, for my age, I was a pretty fast runner. I've always rode really fast, and uh, or yeah, rode, ran really fast. You know, we're running, and I used to wear like Timberland boots when I was in uh, middle school. So this day, of course, I was wearing Tim's. It was like May or June, and I'm running. And I look around, I was clear. All of a sudden. I ran into somebody. Like all of a sudden, I was just on the ground. I didn't even know who I ran into or what I ran into. And then like, I see my, my classmate on the floor just bleeding. And I'm just like, oh shit. And like to this day, I have no clue what really happened. She was bleeding from the face a lot. I was just like, what the fuck? So the ambulance had to come for her and put stitches on her face. And she came back to school a few days later. Maybe it was June. So when she came back to school, her parents were kind of like, her parents weren't mad with me actually, to my surprise. Then again, I was like, what, seven years old? And it wasn't intentional. They weren't too mad and they were like, yeah, she's not gonna come in for the rest of the school year. So, you know, she's, this is it for her. So, all right, tell everyone bye. You know, it's just kind of like that kind of deal. But uh, I don't know like, what part of my body hit her to like really cut her like that. Like I've, I've literally ran into people on my bike, on people I've ran into me. I mean, I've been hit hard, I've hit people hard. Never, never really any blood. So I don't know what happened. That ass is ridiculous. Yeah, that's why I stopped, right? <laughs> no, I had to like I had to stop. Oh boy. Clear that way.
see, I'm not sure if like my boots hit her. Like to this day, that's what I think happened. Like my boots somehow got on her face. I'm not a, not sure at all. So this is second grade. Fast forward two and a half years later, we're back in the same class now in fifth grade. And people were like, yo, you know, to the girl, they're like, yo, how did you get that scar on your face? And she was like, oh, job did it. <laughs> you know, like I had a knife at like fucking second grade. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen, bro. Like I had a knife in second grade, just cutting people's faces off or whatever. But uh, she was like, yeah, job did it. With no explanation, I don't think. Yeah, yep, yeah, 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 he cut my face. And people were coming to me, looking at me like I was like this fucking crazy dude, cutting up people's faces. They're like, yo, why you cut her on the face? And I'm like, I don't I didn't have a knife when I did it, you know. You know, we were running, we were playing in the yard, and then we just like collided right into each other. And that's how she got the cut. I don't know like exactly how she got the cut, but that's how she got the cut. And they're like, yo, that's wild. Well, you know how kids in the hood be like, yo, that's wild. The girl, I guess, felt really self-conscious about that and told, I guess, her mom that I was making fun of her. And I'm like, people are just asking me questions and I'm giving answers. You know, <laughs> like, isn't that, you know, that's the funny thing about society. People will ask you a question and you give them an answer that they don't want to hear and they just lose their shit. I never got that, man. How, how did you, how did you get the cut? We ran into each other. Yo, that's wild. You're making fun of me. Like, why? I'm just telling what happened. It's not funny. You know, I didn't, it wasn't a good day for me either. One of my classmates had to go to the hospital, to the ER, to the ER bleeding. It's not a good day in my book, precisely. So one day I, I get home, I, you know, someone calls the house phone. So that's what we had back then, house phones. <laughs> my mom was really pissed off. And she's like, are you tormenting this girl in your class? And I'm just like, no. And like at that point, I already knew exactly where this conversation was going. She's like, the assistant principal called saying that you're making fun of a girl in the class. Now all this time, like two and a half years passed and I never told my parents about what happened. Like I never told them how I ran into this girl, sent her to the ER. Come on, man. Run it fucking across the street with your kid like that, man. People got in their fucking headphones through here. Fucking college students. I, you know, some of the dumbest people I've ever met in my life, I met in college. But that's that's a story for a different day. That's trap bike lane. Anyway, so my mom pretty much almost whipped my ass because of that. I had to do some smooth talking to get out of that ass whipping. And like for once, for once, I didn't deserve it. Innocent guy. So they had to set up a parent, uh, a parent meeting. They had to set up a parent meeting. My mom came in, the girl parents came in. You know, we had to explain what happened. And my mom didn't know any of the beginning part that like two and a half years ago, we physically, me and this girl physically ran into each other and collided and she was left bleeding, or not left bleeding, but she bled due to the collision. So this is like all news to my mom. And I think she was a bit upset with me because I didn't really uh, tell her about that at the time. I was kind of hoping it would never come out. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? That kid ran in the middle of the street. What the fuck? Holy shit. What the fuck is wrong with these parents today? What the fuck? I don't think I'm making this light today, but yeah, there we go. Red. Just coast up the hill. I don't know why he's gassing hard, man. The fucking light is red. Fucking hipster. Lula! 
Yes! Mr. 305 on his way to work. Oh, hello. Let's continue this story. So, you know, we go through this conference, we both explain our sides. I can't remember exactly what the girl said, but I was like, look, I haven't been making fun of this girl. You know, people ask me what happened. I told her what happened. And that's that, really. I mean, I, I really don't know what else to tell you. So the assistant principal was like, okay, well, listen, someone asked you what happened, say you can't talk about it. I was like, okay, that's, that's fine with me. Because I, I don't like people thinking that I had this knife in second grade cutting up people's faces. So that was the end of that. Um, now I need to catch up with Mr. 305. See if we can catch up to this bro. My man's flying out here this morning. I usually don't go the way he goes to work, but we'll go that way today. So you gotta go the wrong way. My bro 305. <laughs> What's up, man? Okay guys, talk to you later. Catch me outside, how about that?